just in one, two, one, two, three, four. Today we're going to go over how to add a custom prefabs, or any prefab really, into the rwgmixer.xml file, which will then spawn the prefab into your world uh, whenever you create it. I'm going to show you how to put it in so it's got a probability that it could spawn just like anything else, and I'm going to show you how to insert it so it for sure will spawn. So here we go. The prefab we're going to be messing with today is going to be the brand spanking new or Stallions Theme Park. Okay. Now you can tell that's a big old prefab. And the size, by moving my mouse cursor to the top right and then looking top left, 98 by 98 stallions. That's why I called it 98 blocks, not 99. But you are correct. Since this is zero, it is actually 99. Okay. Now you should know since he made the prefab. So 99 by 99. That's pretty daggone big. Remember that. And this is bedrock. Okay. So it looks like he's got, wow, several layers of bedrock underneath his, <laughs> underneath his asphalt. Wow. Three layers of bedrock? Really? Oh, well. You think it'd be terrain filler or concrete or something. Okay, so let's go to inserting this. I use Notepad++ to edit XMLs. Uh, it's a free tool. I recommend it. Learn how to use it. There's a learning curve there too to avoid all the little mistakes. Alright, but let's say we want to put in that prefab into the uh, into the world. Now for every prefab there's an associated XML. Right? See that Stallion's theme park XML? And those are all located in the same folder as your prefabs. This tells me there's no allowed biomes line, which means it can spawn on any biome. This is allowed townships, the rural wilderness, and we'll get to those in a second. Zoning is an industrial, same as the factories, but the townships are what's going to be key here. And the Y offset of negative 12 is nothing we need to concern ourselves with this one, like we did in the video about inserted prefabs, because we're going to let the game do this. So rural and wilderness. You could have... You could have those in there, but they're not going to spawn in a city, or they're not going to generate it in a city or a town because of the zoning restrictions. In a city, you have like four prefabs per city block, right? Because you know the road intersects it like a cross. And it, the reason the large hardware store doesn't spawn in the city is because it's greater than 44 wide. The maximum, I think, is 44 width and 50 length for a prefab to spawn in a city. So this is 99 by 99. It's not going to happen. Town's much the same way. You can get a large hardware to sort of spawn in there, but it's got a couple of houses per block, and this thing is just too big. You ever seen a, like a building splits another building in half? Yeah, you can get all sorts of issues like that. So that's not going to even happen, and we'll get, we'll cover that here in, at the RWG Mixer uh, .xml in a second. So this is the RWG Mixer, Random World Generation, I guess is what it stands for, and this is what chooses where cities and POI spawn, okay? Now, right here it says your world rule set, which is vanilla. So let's look at the rule set for vanilla. You can create your own rule set and create all of your own rules, which some guys have done. But the name's vanilla, the kill ca uh, cache size is 16, all that stuff you don't need to know. This is why you always have a city at 0, 0. See that? Wasteland hub, and we'll, we'll get, you can scroll down down here. The cell rule has a city small in it. The city small is a hub type city with the prefab rule named Wasteland Hub. The prefab rule, see that, has city blocks and city buildings. Now the city building, city blocks, let's look at that, that rule. Where you at, city blocks? Oh, 
I thought it was going to be further up. Let's do this. There it is. So those are the prefabs that can spawn in the city blocks prefab, okay? But it just breaks it down by section. So the name of this theme park, I'm going to do this so I can copy the name. Is X Custom underscore Stallion Theme Park, and those are caps. So if I want it to spawn in the world as is, you notice it says rural and wilderness, okay? So rural small has a hub type of rural. That's nope. City, nope. And there's your wildernesses, okay? So it has to be rural or wilderness. There is no rural large. Now this prefab is, uh, what you may call it? 98 by 98, so it's not going to even fit in the default rural small hub. It might it might generate it in. What you're going to have is it's going to cut into another building, or it's going to go off a cliff and collapse. Uh, I'm sure you see buildings do that. You're going to have it cut over a road. You know, all sorts of weird things can happen because it's bigger than the allotted size. So you'd have to make it wilderness only using vanilla rule sets, okay? If you're going to let the world spawn it in randomly. Because the city max is, even though it's got a huge, for the whole city, those city blocks and the town blocks are not as large as 99, 99. Now, wilderness POIs can take any size. Okay, depending on the terrain, I mean, I'm sure you've seen floating POIs. It can get funky. But they're also at the end of gravel paths, which seems kind of ridiculous to me. Really, what you'd want is you'd want this prefab to have like a road that attaches to the main road, right? But then that would make this thing, what, 100 and, and have a parking lot? It would be like, what, 200 by 200, something crazy? Or 100 by 200? But you can get into that later. For now, we're just going to concentrate on this. So let's say, because we know it's too big for all those, we add it to the wilderness POIs. Now, let's, here's your wilderness POIs. But you see all of the cells have a wilderness rule of a wilderness default, right? And there's your wilderness rules, wilderness default. The prefab rules is wilderness POIs. And the prefab rule, there it is, wilderness POIs. So these are all the prefabs that can spawn in there. Your military cramps group, the Indian burial grounds. Right, these are all groups. So if you look at military camps, I'm sure you know what's going to be in there. All right, so those three prefabs can all spawn if it selects the military camp section for the wilderness POIs. But we're not going to add it to a group. We're just going to add it by itself. So there's the name. Let's see. It's got to look like this. So prefab name equals. I have to make sure quotes go on both sides of the name. You'll see the colors will tell you when it's all funky. And we want the probability to be 1. Like guaranteed, okay? If you put any probability like these, there's a chance it'll spawn. All right. If you want a more of a guarantee, set it the higher probability. And there you go. You save it, and now it can, has a chance to spawn with the wilderness POI, right? I don't want that though. I want it guaranteed. And because I know how the world spawns, wilderness POIs can be funky. It won't fit or a city or a town. So it's probably going to have to be one of those rural locations that spawns on a road. Like, you know how you're going down the road and you'll see a, a gun store on the right, and then a gas station, and then maybe a junkyard on the left, or a shamway across from a bookstore, and there's a house next to it. 
Those are rural locations, okay? So having this off the road would probably be the best bet because it'll probably be in a flat terrain. That's where you generally find those rural locations. And it's not going to be funky off a gravel path or whatever. So here's what we're going to do to ensure it spawns where we want it to spawn. Just like this wasteland hub, we're going to give it a position with a probability. So let's make a cell rule. The name will be, I'm lazy, so I'm just going to control V. Whoa, what did I just do? All right, control V. Let's make it a cell rule instead of a prefab. And give it a position. Of one zero. All right, let's see what that does. And then probability one. Now, because I created a cell rule, I have to create the cell rule down here. So let's just copy custom HUD test. And we'll call it. Actually, well, it's easier to say Stallion's theme park is what we're going to call it. And the hub rule will be the same name. It doesn't matter if it's the same name because it's a cell rule, it's a cell rule, it's a hub rule. They're all different categories. You can have the same name. We don't want any, we only want zero to two caves. I guess can be in the hub. Um, wilderness rule, wilderness, okay, that's fine, whatever. But there's our hub. Okay, now because I created a cell rule and it's, I specified a hub rule, I have to create that hub rule. So let's go down. Here's your hub rules. So let's just put it in a, uh, after the rural small, since it's going to be a rural. I want it to spawn off the road. So let's call it Stein Scene Park. Diane's theme park and the prefab rule, the rule of the name, it's going to be the same thing for consistency's sake. Now remember, it's 99 by 99. Now what I have found is if I set this to 100 by 100, it'll still intersect with roads, right? It'll still insert funky. You've got to give it lots of leeway, I'm telling you. So let's try something like 200. Again, this is a problem with those large POIs. Either you got to insert it manually, or you got to give it lots of room because Random Gen doesn't like. Why do you think you never see a hospital, Random Gen, right? They don't have it set to spawn in there because they're just too big. Okay, so there we go. We got 200. We're going to say it's all, it's just going to be a 200 by 200 block, right? And oh, we got to create a prefab rule. called Stallion's Theme Park. Here's our, there's our prefab rules, okay? So let's create one. And the prefab name. Remember, it's just a prefab name now. And because it's a name, it just equals it. So prefab name equals Stein's theme park. It's the only prefab in that prefab rule. So we should be guaranteed if it's spawning at that position. So let's save it. go in the game. Okay, so I went back into the XML and I had to a few things that I messed up on was I made the Stein's theme park it's got to be so I had it X custom underscore but this has got to match 
this right here. No, it wasn't. And the prefab, you had a max count of one, because I only went one to spawn in that hub. Okay? So let's start up a game. We're looking for that theme park. I'm not really sure what position 1-0 means. We know it's Royal, so it's going to be off the road, right? If it takes me too long to find it, I'll just... Saying I'm too far east. There it is, right there. Okay, now I set it to Rural. So it spawned off the road. I told it max count 1. And it looks like we got lucky. The road uh, cooperated, spawned right by us here. And there you go. Now Stein's theme park has been randomly generated into the game. Now we told it where we wanted it to spawn, so it wasn't off of a gravel path in the middle of frickin' nowhere. And you could always edit this prefab to add a parking lot and stuff like that, which, is, which would probably be better, but it would make the prefab frickin' huge. Right, or you can make your own prefab and then insert it next to it, I guess. Anyway, that's that. I hope you learned something from watching this, and there you go.